This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas, back with another practical PC building uh, video and just going to go over some like a few details that I might have missed or just other components that I might recommend or have thoughts on for you guys when it comes to PC building. Um, first, I want to touch on something I mentioned in the last video about graphics cards. Now, I just want to say this because I know there's going to be someone out there that's going to think that I'm basically saying that you should dismiss graphic cards altogether. No, that's not my point. When I said that I think it's one of the more overrated components, it's because of the emphasis that people put on it beyond gaming and even in the realms of gaming, the emphasis people put on as far as which card you should have, kind of unrealistic, not a practical view. It's more about saying that I have the better part than I have the part that's best for me or best for what I'm doing. That's pretty much what my point was. But I'm sure a lot of people are thinking that I, you know, am an advocate of only having um, your motherboard. Yeah, motherboards are getting better with their um, inputs for uh, video, but I would never tell someone to go motherboard only unless you really don't have much um, interest in gaming or in uh, doing stuff like video editing and stuff and things like that you can get away with it because it's not going to hurt you to watch videos on the internet through the motherboard especially if the motherboard can get you 4k while you're watching your TV shows streaming stuff and things like that or watching YouTube so yeah I, I don't think you'll have an issue with that but if you're going to be into gaming um and you know video editing graphics editing things like that you want to get a comparable mother uh, comparable graphics card but i still say this you don't need to spend a ridiculous amount of money on the highest end thing to get good performance it's just not it's not practical it's not necessary that's all that was my whole point anyway moving on now there's some other things that you um need to keep in mind when you're making things as far as the motherboard goes one thing that i didn't mention was that check your um expansion slots see how many there are such as how many pci slots you have what type of pci is the pci um e3 um two most uh i would say most motherboards would have at least four of the pci slots at least one will be like 3.0 the rest will be like 2.0 and then they'll might be one that's like the shorter one um i forget exactly what's called the shorter ones too that you put things that only have like a little small um port for you to plug in to that um uh, i forget the name exactly what that thing is but anyway um so check that especially if you're someone who is going to be big on expanding using a lot of things because you're going to need one for your graphics card if you get one uh you might want to get a sound card um so that's one. Uh, you may want to expand your USB ports and get an interior USB expander. Um, you may want to get an internal Bluetooth um, a card or an internal Wi-Fi card if you don't want to connect your computer wire uh, wired through an Ethernet. You know, so that's one of the things to um, consider. Just check to see how many expansion ports. I think mine has six. The box is back there. I feel. But, but I think it has six, which is pretty cool. So I, I have room for expanding. I only have two used right now because I have my Creative Lab sound card and I have my um, uh, GTX 650 graphics card, and then the rest are not being utilized. So I still have room to grow in that aspect. Um, as far as USB ports, like I said, uh, I was like getting all hyped because. The ASRock one had like 12, but in reality, as long as you have six in the back, two in the front on your motherboard, I think you're fine. A lot of people uh, aren't probably going to be like me with like a gajillion USB things. Like I have a USB hub that's plugged into there. I have my Elgato 
I have my printer. I have what else is USB? At least two more things that I think. That, oh my um course. My webcam um is plugged in. You know, I, I have a lot of USB things going on um with my computer. Oh, and I have two two external hard drives. So yeah, I kinda take up all of mine. That's why I had to end up getting the USB up so I could run some stuff just in case. Because I just forgot another USB item, my blue snowball microphone. So I just use like crazy dumb USB things. But even if you, you know, have more than the six and back, two in front, you can always do, like I said, I have an um, external USB hub. There are expansion cards that you can get that will have four, um, at least two some such four I've seen let's say I've seen an eight uh, port USB expansion card before but you check them out they're not that expensive between 20 to 40 bucks you can just pop that in there boom you got extra USB ports to plug in all your crazy devices so you know that's something to consider um, I mentioned my sound card uh, you might want to get a sound card Although most people I don't think get sound cards anymore, I do. Um, it's just always been something I've done. Um, they're pretty cheap. You don't have to go all out unless you're a serious autophile and you really need a high-end sound card to get the best sound quality. Of course, it doesn't matter what quality your sound card is if your speakers are shit. So keep that in mind as well. Don't think that you're gonna go out and buy a like you know top of the line sound card pop that baby in and then plug in some twenty um, dollar speakers and think you're gonna get studio sound up. It doesn't work like that. Make sure that your speaker set um, if you are interested in getting um, high quality sound is compatible. Of course another reason why I say that you don't necessarily need a sound card is because again you have onboard sound and if you have a decent enough headset for your computer, you can get some good sound out of that anyway. So plugging in your headset would help. Um, most motherboards do have optical ports on them now, so you can get some really good quality sound if you have an optical headset. Um, like if I wanted to plug in my, even though my sound card does this as well, it would probably process the sound a little better. If I didn't have my sound card and I wanted to get some good um, audio through headphones, I have an um, Astro 850 I can plug in. I mean, me personally, I'm comfortable with onboard sound. I'm better with sound card. It's one of those things that, again, going back to the whole um, argument I had with uh, graphics card. It's not a necessity, but it's a good thing to have. And even then, you don't need to go overboard with what you do. I spent, uh, what was mine, like $25 for an OEM Creative Labs sound card that has um, two optical ports, uh, the standard ports and everything like that. Really good sound. I'm happy with it. Goes well with my old um, Logitech uh, speakers that come with the subwoofer. I've had these speakers for, God damn. Ah. Uh, I say I bought these speakers around 2000 maybe and they've still been hanging around that's certainly how good um, Logitech PC speakers could be um, they still work excellent They're excellent um, but uh, I don't know maybe one of these days I finally give up the ghost and upgrade those too I'm just comfortable with them I like those speakers good speakers um, anyway uh, as far as everything else is concerned uh, let me see. Is there anything else that I miss? Oh, cooling system. I can't go without talking about cooling system. Now, I don't have a separate cooling system beyond what came. Um, most processors now come with a heat sink that come with a fan to go on top to help keep uh, the processor cool. Uh, cases, most cases will have two. Your power supply will have its own fan for cooling purposes. Um, the case, a lot of cases are built with a lot of ventilation. I know mine has some ventilation on top, ventilation on bottom, ventilation in back. 
um, two fans. I have, I have a front fan, as a rear fan, you know, so I have three fans working four if I count the fan that actually comes on my graphics card. Graphics cards have their own um, cooling system as well. Uh, I will say this, if you're gonna be a hardcore gamer, or you're gonna be like using your, stretching your computer a lot, with your like productivity, active activity, um, then I say get a separate cooling system. Um, the more popular thing is the water cooling system right now. Um, they can be kind of pricey, but it's worth it if you want to maintain the integrity of your system. But if you're someone like me who's not doing that much, putting that much stress, who actually turns their system off, um, actually, then you probably can get by with the main system. I'm still thinking though I might get a cooling system. One of the good things about cases too is they, they're built for that. They understand that. They have a spot built in for the cooling system if you want to utilize one. So that's um, a good thing. Um, cable management. You want to make sure that the system that you get, the cables aren't just all over the place and in the way. It's just, if you're trying to upgrade, you can snag something and break something. You don't want to do that. Make sure your cables are, you know, kind of cinched together. Um, like I was happy to see that my case came with a bunch of um, Velcro zip ties to put on cables if I want to, like, you know, pull cables back, bind them together so they're just not all hanging all willy nilly like that. So that's a good. Um, you can find those though. They're not too pricey i would suggest that you get the the ones that i got the velcro ones simply because you don't want to put a lot of plastic or anything like that you want to make sure that these zip ties are have some heat resistance and that's a good thing uh, about those velcro run, ones is i don't have to worry about any melting or anything like that um also hard drives i never talk about hard drive um one thing about hard drive, and I mentioned this when I was putting together my PC and talking to you guys about the build, is um, when it comes to hard drives, I consider what it is exactly you want to do and what's important to you. Like a lot of people nowadays, when they do their PC builds, they get two hard drives. They get a, um, a solid state drive somewhere, like usually like 128 gig, no more than 256 gigs because while they've come down in prices there's still some that are really expensive like once you get past the 128 um you're gonna spend a lot more but um a lot of people get those as a boot drive they use that they just put nothing but the operating system on then they get a secondary regular um state of hard drive uh to be the storage for their programs their files and things like that so you might want to do that if you're someone who feels like you need extra boot speed. I don't have an SSD right now. Still debating on that because my computer boots pretty fine um, the way it is. Uh, considering the, the type of computer I have, the i7 and all that, it boots pretty quickly. Um, I would say it's definitely less than a minute from the time I hit the power button to when everything that loads up and start loads up. That being said, you can cut that time down with the SSD. I don't know how much of a rush you are in to get your computer. Uh, me, right now, I'm comfortable where it's at. It's not like I'm sitting here groaning like, oh my God, get this thing boot up. Not having that issue. So, you know, take that how you will. It's, again, it's, some, it's another thing that is not necessarily important, but it's an option out on the table that will, you know, that has its benefits. Um, but not necessarily is a major necessity to the scheme of things. Uh, and I mentioned this before about the space of the case, but I'm going to mention it again. Here's the type of person who want to have a lot of backups. You want to use multiple um, optic drives, things like that. So make sure the case accommodates that. But the one thing with the case is, is that it should accommodate more than anything. It's the size of your motherboard. Always want to be sure and make sure that your motherboard fits and it's configured for that case. Don't worry about cosmetics first. Worry about compatibility first, then you go for the cosmetic. Um, my case looks pretty cool, but that's not why I got it. It fit with the scheme. That's the most important thing. That's all that really matters, that it fits 
with the whole like you know motherboard build and everything it works functionally wise for what you want to do um but i think that's about it as far as things that i don't think i covered um i mean there's a lot of other stuff i can get into like i could talk to you guys about different ways to do things once the computer's built i might do that in another video um but yeah that's about it as far as like all things oh last thing i wanted to mention is keyboard and mouse to be quite honest um i use old ps uh two connector keyboard and mouses i mean they're not old i had to buy them but it was like less than 20 bucks for the mouse and the keyboard logitech uh i prefer that because that frees up usb slots so going back to the whole you know if you need slots make sure to get a ps2 mouse and a ps2 keyboard um i believe they actually work smoothly too and to be quite honest your response time is a lot faster in gaming with those i believe so that's something to consider if you know let me know but i believe that's how it goes because usb kind of has a little more latency than those do um but definitely do that to save yourself some expansion slots because i mean it, it makes no sense everything usb it, you don't have to have everything usb and it'll definitely work um oh operating system um not really much to say on that windows 8 right now pretty much runs on everything uh windows 7 windows 8 that's about the gist of that but yeah that covers everything now anyway as always feel free to hit me up if you have any questions let me know suggestions please do criticism keep it constructive and i will holler at you later it's your boy black makers in the mouth this is